Hello everybody, so it's been a while since I filmed a vlog and I thought I would do one because it's not everyone's cup of tea but I enjoy making them. I'm sorry about the noises outside. Anyway, today I am at work, there's my work, um, but it's lunchtime so I was just hand painting some of these patron rewards. So last month we were, if it wants to focus, we read Mexican Gothic. You guys have probably seen this image on my Instagram maybe, but I thought it would be fun to like send a mini print out to all my <clears throat> all my uh, book reader patrons and I'm gonna put them in this little antique envelope which I find really cool because I've got I bought some antique envelopes and they're all really old and uh, interesting so I thought that would be really fun to do with these prints because this is kind of a dated it's not dated but it's set in like the 1950s I think the book so I thought it'd be cool to send them with these antique envelopes and then I'm using these um, shimmery dot shift cards that maybe you saw on my youtube channel I don't know um, to hand paint like some of the glitter onto some of these so they're all gonna look different and I think they're really cool. I'm really having fun making these and yeah, I think they're they're nice. And I'm gonna hand I'm gonna write a message on the back of them, I think. Either the back or I'm gonna put a message in these envelopes. So I'm gonna put them in the antique envelope and then in a proper envelope to send. Oh my god, also, I don't know if you guys have seen this come on, focus camera. This kind of washi tape before. This one is like Moomins, and basically each little bit is like a fake kind of stamp and they're all different so I want to use those as well on, on top of the envelopes because I think those would look really cute and they're really pretty and I didn't know this was like a fake roll of stamps kind of thing I thought it was just normal washi tape so it really surprised me and I'm really happy with these I got this in Japan so I wish that I had picked up more of them but I've got a little thank you stamp. Here's all like my little. I keep the washi tapes and stuff here for when I wanna pack little things for so, on my lunch break. And yeah, so that's that's my Monday. I'm drinking coffee and uh, yeah, that's basically it. A little update on pesto if anyone's interested. A little update on Gigi if anyone's interested. Gigi, he's fast asleep. Yes. Yes, it's a good stretch. It's a good stretch. This is currently like mostly my uh, to be read pile. Lots of these books I have read, but most of them I haven't. So I really want to read that 6 4 book next. It's supposed to be like quite a big hit in. Um, in Japan and it got translated to English and I need to read it because it's interesting but this month we're reading a different book on the Patreon so I'm a really slow reader so <laughs> I think maybe I can manage two books a month maybe if I actually read sometimes I just put off reading a lot so it's kind of bad um, I'll just watch YouTube at night and then I'm like oh I should read something and then I'm like, no, I want to watch YouTube and I watch another, like, silly video instead <laughs> of just reading. This is a really cool book, Slaughterhouse Five. I really enjoyed that. I said I haven't read most of these, but actually I've read this. Read this, 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 I don't know if this is interesting to you guys, by the way. Read this, this is a cool graphic novel. Um, Heartstopper, it's LGBTQ, LGBTQ, and uh, yeah, it's really nice, it's a cool style. And then I also have this one, you guys have probably heard of these because they're quite famous, Laura Jean keeps breaking up with me, and I really love the artist of this one, I think it's, it's, uh, I don't know how to say her name, uh, Mariko, I don't know why that was so hard for me to figure out, it's, <laughs> it's relatively simple, Mariko Tamaki, yeah is the artist and I just, I love this style, it's really cool. And uh, yeah, I've read, Neil Gaiman's Trigger Warning, I got it and I was like, sounds interesting and then never picked it up. But yeah, oh, this book is really good, Hostage. This is a big graphic novel uh, by Guy D. Leslie, I think his name is. 
and I've got a few of his books because he kind of does like autobiographical stuff because his um, wife is a, works for Doctors Without Borders and so he like writes about all the different places that they go to but this one is somebody else's story about this guy who got kidnapped and his story and so it's it's a true story but not about Guy. Guy is just the artist and it's really good. I like that book a lot. And yeah, I've got this Jerusalem one by him too. Yeah, so um, those are some books of mine. I hope that was interesting. A little talk for you. Pastor found them interesting. Because she woke up from her nap and came over. All right, uh, signing off. I'm also going to put in some of these stickers that I sent to my patrons before but these are like different ones I think so everyone should kind of get different ones this time. They're just based on patrons favourite books um, so we have um, Spinning Silver, The Name of the Wind, The Last Unicorn and Mistborn. So they're kind of just book stickers, so you can put them in maybe your like book diaries or just put them on top of your computer or bookmarks or like they're just fun. I think they're really cool to put on stuff. I've put one here on my computer, which I quite like. And yeah, I'm going to pop them in. I realise that these um, do not fit inside these envelopes. So I'm going to have to use a bigger envelope, but that's fine. I think it makes it more exciting, like opening it, I guess. So I'm going to use these envelopes, boom, and then put some stickers in and then play around with putting stamps and stuff on top of the envelopes. And that's it. Two minutes left on my lunch break. So I'm going to have to do this after I finish work. I might see you then. I might see you tomorrow. Good morning everyone. I've had a really fun morning of trying to unblock my card again because uh, they apparently found some fraud on it or not found some fraud, that sounds bad. <laughs> that sounds like I'm committing fraud. Um, no, they blocked the card because the payment didn't go through or something so they thought it was fraud or something, I don't know. So they had to unblock it. It was really annoying because I called yesterday. Yeah, it was the same same thing because they didn't actually unblock it which was really fun thank you thanks not west cool okay i'm gonna go downstairs and grab a coffee In my country, the infections are down to just 22 people, um, so it's not too bad at the moment. Whoa, it's a big down. But um, everyone's still being cautious, so we have to wear masks in public places, and we only need to wear them out in the open air. But I tend to just wear them like all the time if I go out. So, and uh, some people don't agree with masks, which is so stupid. But hey. I, we can't control everyone's minds, can we? So yeah, I'm just working today. Um, I'm off tomorrow though and Friday because it's my birthday on Friday and I took 
those two days off and then the week after off and i'm really excited because then i can work on some projects uh and i'm hoping that i can work on my horror comic during that time finally because i'll have some downtime and i'm feeling a bit inspired and yeah watching Dina or listening rather as I work that was a weird sentence <laughs> sorry good morning folks it is now folks that was weird um it's Thursday and I'm off work so I'm moving from that desk to this desk. This is the desk that I usually film on. Um, Chris has put his uh, Street Fighter thingy that I hate so much on my desk. So I'm gonna move that and yeah, I'm gonna do some drawing and stuff. This is a little bit behind the scenes for you guys. So I use this to film. It's super janky because it's broken. Um, I, need <laughs> I need to get a new one basically and uh, yeah. I found these old Posta colour paints that I have. I think they're Chris's old paints, but he didn't mind like letting me use them. So those are pretty cool, except there's, there's just yellow, blue, and brown, and black, which is, I wish I had a red, so then I could mix colours, but I don't. Ignore this, this is a cat brush. <laughs> Lovely. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in a bit. film for my vlog a little bit say hi guys Woo. well that's like delayed now hey. so yeah we're just filming um, just doing a live stream for the for my birthday stream even though my birthday's tomorrow <laughs> so yeah we're just gonna do some doodling now We are at for Sunborn, which is um, like this nice restaurant for my birthday because it's my birthday. Hooray! And um, that's about it. I'll show you guys my food, I guess. I don't know if this is interesting, but this is what you're getting quality content. How do I turn it down? Action. But Chris, okay, I'm opening the Heilika stuff. Oh, oh right, oh, okay. <laughs> you, wanted, you, you wanted to be in it? Okay, let's see what we have. I've got a package from Heilika. Um, I don't know if you guys know her. She's a really cool artist and she does like 
subscription boxes. Um, I can't get it out. I'm trying to save the tape. I don't want to hit pesto. Pesto. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. She thinks it's for her. Yeah, she's like, oh, thank you for my plastic gift. Ooh, it's very cool. So I bought like different inks from her. So I bought this blue pink set. It's really cool. And and I also got these other sets. Which is I think these are like greens. Really these are the colours. Like a complimentary set. So I got the B set. And then I got this. This is like the main set. Does she make them? Primary. No, she doesn't make them, but she, these are like the inks she used, so she sets them up. Um, well, that's cool. Sells them. And then we've got the masking fluid that she uses, which always looks really like, like it works well. Because <laughs> she uses a lot of masking fluid, so... And then I got these paintbrushes, because I need new paintbrushes, and I was like, well, if she says they're cool, then... They must, and they have these, like, acrylic ends, Ooh. which I really like. Oh, that's cool. They're cool, right? Do I see? Mm -hmm. What's at the back? Look, it's got like a little. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, that's for like scraping the masking fluid. Oh, that's I think. mad good. Yeah. Can I have one? No. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. It's my little Heineken package. I will do a video. Mm? <laughs> mm? We'll do a video about them, maybe soon. Or I'll just use them. I don't know. Okay, see you in a bit. So it's like 2 a.m. ish. We just got back from my parents where I celebrated my birthday. But Chris got me the Cree Cut. Woohoo! Really excited. I'm gonna do some like stickers and stuff, which is um, I'm a bit intimidated, but it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna do some make some stickers. I'm very excited. It's a pretty like mint green one too. Love it. It's awesome. I'm very excited to get to work tomorrow and I will use this stuff and then maybe make some stickers i don't know the possibilities are endless Booby. <laughs> hey guys so this might be a bit of a weird one but my mum made this for me for my birthday like one of my presents and they're basically reusable face wash cloths and she like stitched all of them so they're like cotton on this side so which is supposed to be like really good for reusable things and then um they're all like different patterns on the back and then inside there's like a you basically throw them all in whoop, inside this bag and then you put it in the laundry and it all cleans it it's so clever isn't it she just made this, so cool. So I'm just gonna wash my face with one of these now. And uh, she made this little box, like stitch this box. So when you want to get one, you just have it right here and you can just grab one. I didn't show that at all. She, <laughs> she made this little box. So when you want to get one, you can just grab one when you need one. And I just use my face wash with it. And I think that's really cool. So I thought I'd share that. It's not very artsy, but it's kind of artsy for people who like stitch, uh, stitching, sewing and stuff like that. I thought it was really cool. Nice, huh? Okay. Also, Pesto likes to drink. Chris and I are kind of addicted to Splunky at the moment, so we're gonna play some of that and then head to bed. And then tomorrow is Saturday, and that's probably when I'll post this video. But I might do some drawing tomorrow, so I'll let you know if I say goodbye then. 
Hey morning guys, so it is now Saturday and uh, I'm very tired because we got home super late last night and then we stayed up for a little bit longer for some reason, I don't know. Um, this is going to be the last day of the vlog so you're probably watching this later, that doesn't make any sense. Um, you're watching this on Saturday and I thought I'd just unbox the Heilica stuff as like the final kind of entry of the vlog and just check out. Um, all the ink sets and stuff. I thought that would be fun, so let's do it. I'm very excited to check them out, so. I think usually I would make this into like a separate video, but I think I'm just too excited <laughs> to open them, so I wanna just look at the inks now. I think I'm just gonna do like swatches and stuff and uh, talk about the quality of stuff, so it's not gonna be like an in-depth painting or anything, but we're gonna check out everything. So I've never used, um, these type of inks before, like watercolour inks. So it'll be quite exciting to see how they they work. So I'm gonna open the primer set first and just check out. Oh, they're so cool with these little pipette things. So I've got magenta, um, gelb, <laughs> yellow, and cyan blue, which is gonna be awesome. Okay, um, let's see, clean my palette here. I don't know how much to use as well because I just want to get used to them too. Oh, that's super yellow. Magenta. It's kind of cool. I really like how pigmented they look already. Resistant to erasing and waterproof. Sweet deal. Okay, I'm going to use my big new brush. Oh, I think we should use a masking fluid as well. How do I... <laughs> How does this work? Uh, okay, let's just uh, do a little... Ooh, okay, it comes out really fast. Bear that in mind if you get this. It's like a loose hair there, which is bothering me. Let's see. Whoa, it is like super, super pigmented. I guess like instantly absorbed into the paper, which is kind of different to watercolors. Let's see how it reacts with wet on wet. Okay, that's pretty cool. It dries so quickly though, like it all absorbs into the paper anyway, so super quick. I took a picture of my drive yesterday, so I think I might like sketch that out with this, see if it works. I do really like the textures you can get with it, because as it absorbs so quickly, well, it's kind of going through the paper. So I think what I'll do is finish it here. I think I need, maybe if I add more water, it won't dry as quickly. I, I will look up like um, tutorials on how to use these inks, I think, later. And maybe how I look at even how it's like something on her. Because I think she has a YouTube channel actually now. So good to know, isn't it, guys? She's like one of my art heroes, I think, you know? I'm a bit obsessed. So if you water it down, it doesn't absorb quite as quickly. So I think that's probably the way to go a bit. I also think this paper is a bit too absorbent for watercolor paper. Like this is the, uh, what did I say it was? Mossery sketchbook, that's it. And uh, yeah, I'm not like a huge fan. So I want to get like a good watercolor paper, good watercolor sketchbook. So if anybody knows anything, that would be really handy. Yeah, definitely not sure about the way that it looks on this paper. Kind of nice, like I kind of like the grainy textures of it, so let's do a green. It is really nice to use, like I'm saying that. So I'm really excited to keep using them with these ones as well. I just have to get used to it a bit, I think. It's a bit of a learning curve. Maybe if I wait for it to dry a bit, let's see how it reacts. Reacts? Let's see how it acts then. So you can use it straight like this, like I'm doing, or you can add water to it. So it's kind of like watercolour. And then it will be watercolour um, waterproof, which is really cool. So you can use inks on top as well, or underneath, and they won't get smudged. It obviously added colour to this, so this is not the actual colour. I love them. I really, I don't know, there's something about them. Like, obviously I'm not doing them justice, but I think they're really fun to work with. I'm really enjoying them. So let's see what I can create with them. Hopefully, I think the paper is not very nice, but I'm gonna look up different ways to, different things to use for it. I think that's gonna be the end of the vlog. Um, 
for now. But thanks for watching guys, um, if you made it this far. Let me know if you enjoy this type of vlog. I'm not sure that everybody does, so I'm just trying to figure out what what works best for, for my channel, basically. Because I want to do stuff that people want to watch, obviously. So, it's a bit, at the moment, I'm a bit, like, uh, not burnt out, but just unsure what direction to go that would help me because I think I've just been like losing subscribers and I don't know it's not it's not like the end of the world but it's a bit demoralizing so you know anyway to end that on <laughs> to end the vlog on such a happy note uh, I've had a really good week and a really good birthday yesterday and I've obviously got the creek cut and these inks and everything to like check out so hopefully that will be on my channel soon and I hope to see you guys there Okay, thanks for watching guys. Bye. I would just like to give a shout out to my patrons before I go. Thanks so much guys, really appreciate it. Um, it's been a really awesome time. And yeah, so they are Devon, Asatublum, Asatublum. I'm always wondering if I'm mispronouncing that, let me know. Jacqueline, Steph, Eva, Lucille, Erica, Megaya, Tim and Charlotte and Alex. Thank you so much guys. It really means a lot and I'm really enjoying chatting to you and doing different stuff on Patreon with you. Thanks. Bye.